Greetings, St. Peter's family and friends of St. Peter's. I am sitting here on the steps in front of our church on this Wednesday in Holy Week. Even as we remain at a physical distance from one another, we will stay connected, especially this week in our, in our worship together as we walk the way of the cross. We will have a number of opportunities for worship available to you beginning tonight with a service of evening prayer at seven o'clock. We'll have our Monday Thursday service tomorrow at seven o'clock. Then we'll have our Good Friday service at 12 noon. And we will celebrate the Lord's resurrection on Easter day this Sunday at 10 o'clock in the morning. I appreciate your feedback uh, that you have uh, been able to worship with us online and that it has been a, a positive experience for you. I would let you know that a number of the images uh, that we are bringing into that worship are images of our stained glass uh, windows here at St. Peter's. So even as we bring you worship online, we're bringing some of those uh, sacred images to you and bringing those into your homes as you worship in your homes with us online. I also want to let you know uh, about something we will do in tomorrow night's service, the Monday Thursday service, and on Easter Day. We will have Holy Communion. We will celebrate the Holy Eucharist in those services. And you will have an opportunity to participate with us by way of a spiritual communion. This may be something new to you, but this is a long-standing uh, option in our tradition. I would, uh, I would point something out to you that in our prayer book, uh, there's an option for someone to, to make a spiritual communion on page 457 in the prayer book. It says here, if a person desires to receive the sacrament, but by reason of extreme sickness or physical disability is unable to eat and drink the bread and wine, the celebrant is to assure that person that all the benefits of communion are received, even though the sacrament is not received with the mouth. So I, as the celebrant, I am here to assure you that you will receive the benefits of communion by way of a spiritual communion. In the bulletins that we will make available to you online, there is a prayer that you can say uh, to make a spiritual communion at the time of communion. So this is a way in which we will, again, stay connected spiritually. Uh, so I wanted to let you know about that uh, in anticipation of tomorrow night's service and the Easter day service uh, so that you can make a spiritual communion. You can stay connected with us spiritually. I'd like to close with a prayer uh, that many of us have been praying this week and Holy Week. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.